afternoon guys what is going on Aaron hips here and in today's video we got some stuff going on I, I have some unfortunate news I need to share first so there hasn't been a video in about four or five days which is kind of weird because I've been really good at at least uploading every other day or every three days I had a video all set ready to go so I went to go download more video footage for it and my computer crashed and I lost the entire project all the video footage so I apologize for that because I actually had a bunch of cool stuff happen in that video and the video was actually like 17 18 minutes long it was a really long video so all that time is wasted and gone but we are not going to think about that we are moving forward and we're going to be positive about it because I lost that video for a reason I don't know if I posted the video yet but I have a brand new social worker I'm trying to think because I filmed so much in the other video that is now deleted. I forgot what I did and didn't tell you guys. For some stuff that you guys already know, I apologize because this is going to be everywhere. I got a brand new social worker and so stuff is just trying to move all my files for the adoption are moving over to her. But I am so ready to get this done. I just, oh, I want to be a dad so bad. I'm so hyped for this. guys so next problem we have is this claw keeps getting stuck on this cord right here so I grabbed some zip ties here and I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this problem And this is the problem everyone's running into right now. The problem of all the plush on every website is out of stock. Ordering plush for machines right now is basically impossible. I've never had this problem at one of my arcades before, but look, someone graffitied the side of my machine. Yeah, that is rough. I don't think I've, I don't even know what that says. What does that say? These always bubble up, you gotta push them in. And I ordered a container almost two weeks, about 10 days ago, and my, my freight dropped to $18,000 from $26,000. So it went so down. So that's the first good sign that it's going down. Well, because the, you know, the problem I'm having, though, is a small generic. I was running payout rates on the cranes at $1 in $15. I was paying $2, yep. I was two, paying two for one. You know, after I make split with the owner, I was making about six bucks on each stuffed animal. It was turning out pretty well for me, but the problem now is I've jacked them up to one in 30 because I have no idea how this inflation thing's gonna work with the product and I I, I don't wanna get screwed on the back end. Yep, yep, you're, you're right. You Good morning, guys. It is the next day and I got some worship music playing right now. It's actually almost 12 o'clock, I've been up. Usually I try to wake up, drink some coffee, read my Bible, and just get the day going right, guys. So before I go to work today, I actually gotta hop on a phone call and do some worship with some friends. Once I do that, we're gonna head out. I actually gotta go back to the mall that I was just at last night. I forgot to pay my rent, and if I don't do that, they get a little 
emotional, as Blake DJ B. Wells would say. Yeah, they, they just get a little emotional. So I gotta go back to that mall, which is okay, because I actually gotta do some stuff over that way anyways. See how much money the machines made from yesterday afternoon till today. I mean, it might be kind of fun, right? Like, how much money they made in one day. Oh man, it's just so good to be alive, guys, and I'm so happy to hold this camera. So let's get started with the day. I'm gonna do this meeting with some buddies, and we'll get right on with our day. But it's, it's because he wants us to be happy and, and feel the love that he has for us. Well, because it's like when you, when, yeah, it's like when you don't listen to God or listen to what he, you feel like he's directing you towards to do in life. It's not like your parents where it's like, if you don't clean your room, I'm going to freaking ground you or beat your butt or whatever, you know. It's more so like, I'm telling you this because you're going to hurt, your, you're hurting yourself. You know what I mean? And I don't know, it's, it's, it's a really good guidance to go off of. And if more people understood that, they would realize how freeing it is. Gotta go into this bowling alley. You guys are gonna know as soon as I walk in what bowling alley I'm at. Check some stuff out, just make sure everything looks good, you know? So let's go inside, guys. Come along with me and let's check it out. Yeah, she's looking a little empty. Check this out. So we're gonna see how much it made. It's just so hard right now because let's say I gotta put 30 stuffed animals in here right now. 30 stuffed animals at six bucks a piece. You're a few hundred bucks. So if the machine only made like 300, then you gotta split the money with the owner? <sighs> tight. Check the dollars. Yeah, and then there's probably a hundred bucks of money. Let's just see how many stuffed animals I need to add to this to fill it back up. Let's say each stuffed animal costs five bucks a piece, all right? That boy is Benny Hanna. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I lost count of how much I put in there. I put at least $80, $90 worth. I came up to this machine and I thought someone broke into it because it looked like this. It's this is loose. All right guys, so we're at my arcade. It's later on in the day, filling the machines up here. The change machine actually is pretty empty for one day. The money doesn't find its way into these machines all the time. But there's times where if I open this, it's probably a lot of 20s and people will take that money, spend four or five dollars and leave. So I'm always bringing quarters with me to fill the change machines. People are putting 20s in taking ten dollars and leaving because if I take all the money out of all my machines a good chunk of the time when I go to fill this it doesn't fill it up back all the way all right and then something I never film I gotta take the trash out so this is always fun hey it's probably a smart deal that I shut my back door first and then you go all the way down this hallway and it like zigzags so I'll see you guys when I get there yeah, I should have brought my coat dun, ba, dun, dun, dun. Um. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this with one hand. There we go. Bye. We got machines turning off. They're already off for the night. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna have to figure out how to clean this side of the machine. Right here, I think, yeah, it's this one right there. Jesus loves you, I love you. See you guys next time.